don't think this is some loving divorced daddy, Milton. Ah, I take back what I just said. All starting to add up, isn't it? <laughs> Whoa! Yo! <laughs> What's going on, my people? Welcome back to Blues and Bullets. This is going to be the final episode, part of, of episode one. I'm never going to help you. Why me? I'm not asking you to help me. I'm not a ghost anymore. I'll do it. Not for you, for her. So, uh, this I think each episode is like an hour and a half long. So, this is the third part of this. So, we're going to. It's become a jungle. They trying to scare me. I think they got me like that yesterday. Hold up, though, bruh. Rats are safe. Boy, them rats ain't never safe. Those who to protect us fight to steal the last scraps of dignity we have left. And those who should judge them prefer to squabble over their prey. But it wasn't always like this. The Santa Esperanza I was born in was a clean town. A place where it meant something to be a cop. Oh shit, hey, that shit is clean right here. I, I didn't think that was me. Hold up, bro. Oh no, Elliot, you might, Ness might be on some type of drugs or something right there. Look at this art style. I, li I love this. This shit is hot right here, bro. I don't know, I don't know if it's fire yet though. It, 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 it ain't the same, damn, bro. Yeah, bitch, you, you gonna sit still now? Oh. Peek your little head out the shell, turtle ass. How you doing today? I don't even know why we're here. You didn't die? Dead now. We like to go for all headshots, baby. I'm gonna send an email to the devs and let them know that we out here. My feet the squad the is out here playing this, watching this. But now he's back. And he's dragged me in. The game came out like last, sometime last year, end of last year, maybe September or something. I'm gonna need help. Yeah, should we hit hit us with the essential juices or the whiskey? I like the orange juice. Let's go with orange juice. Oh no, damn whiskey! I don't drink, guys. Never, never, ever. Don't ever offer me a drink. Orange juice, apple juice, water. That's about it, bro. I don't. Maybe some Gatorade, but I don't do the alcohol. I ain't answer nothing. I'm having my orange juice. They interrupt the orange juice time. Ness. Elliot, I found Carlo Baccarini. I knew you would, Alice. Write this down. 31 Wicker Avenue in Lakeview. Thanks. Nice work. Elliot, what do you want with him? He's got a hell of a file. Secret lie truth. Let's go with a lie. Some mail turned up for him at the diner with a wrong address. Elliot? Don't lie to me, I'm a cop. If you go outside the law, I can't protect you. Alice, I don't have much time. I'll let you know how it goes. Thanks. You should've told her the truth. You should shut up. Shut your mouth. Uh, tomorrow's going to be a long, long day. We just unlocked an achievement, old enemy. All right, let's go. 31 Wicker Avenue. This is it. You sure? I'm sure. At last. That stench of stale grease about you reminds me too much of my old job. I smell of grease? Eh, uh, I don't think anyone else would notice. But when you spend a part of your sentence as a chef in the kitchens on Gore Island, you smell it a mile away. And how do you think I met Alphonse, playing golf? Alphonse? On the subject of cooking, I know your blueberry pie had an extra something. I still don't know what. Alphonse? 
So what now? You got a plan? Take a look around, in case there's a rear exit. I'll take the main door. My pleasure. He's swole as shit, I don't wanna... He runs swole, he... Boy, huge, man. You put your ass in a headlock at breakfast, and you're done. He looked like the dude from life that was like, you gonna eat your cornbread? Maybe I'll eat your cornbread. A criminal like him can hang up his shingle in broad daylight says a lot about Santa Esperanza. Okay, what, are, what do we have here? Is there something else over here that we can look at? Someone took out sections of the fence. Odd. People, do y'all like the um the way they did the, the art style on this? I know a lot of people aren't into the black and white stuff, but... Um, I mean, it's not something I would always go with, but I, li I like how they did it on there. Interesting taste. Been centuries since a gardener visited this house. Maybe Baccarini's business isn't going too well. Hey, when you got a gardener sitting outside your house, you got a different kind of money. Look at him, old smiley ass. Just sitting there, sitting in the sun. You clean up this goddamn porch. They got chairs knocked over and stuff. Oh, guys, I officially got my P.O. box last week, so, um, I, I, I didn't want to give out my real address because people, you know, so, P.O. box, if you want to send me any letters or anything, um, don't send me, don't send me, like, your prized possessions, please, please, door or bell, ring the bell. And the bell doesn't work. I guess Baccarini doesn't get many visitors. Knock hard as hell. Baccarini? Carlo Baccarini? Nothing of interest out back. Sorry. You better come see this, Mr. Ness. That was a motherfucking ghetto knock I just did. I don't know how to describe it. Is that our man? Baccarini. My God. We have to find out who did this and why. Let's go. You're the detective, Mr. Ness. Besides, Alfonso will want to see this. I'll be right back. All right. I have to establish how Baccarini died. Maybe the body parts can shed some light on the motive. Solve the murderer's investigation board. So, um, it looks like he tried to dab and they just, they cleaned him up mid-dab right there. He shall never dab again, bitch! The blood comes from the other side of the corridor and ends next to the body. He was attacked in the other room and dragged to the hall. You think you Batman, though? Trying to gather up clues and all that. Batman is the greatest detective of all time. Well, Sherlock Holmes. Mm. The evidence suggests that the events began in the lounge. How did Baccarini encounter his murderer? Let's keep seeing if we can find more. Whatever crushed the table must have been really heavy. Or maybe it was thrown extremely hard. Do I have to stay on this part? There we go. What kind of person takes off a wristwatch without unfastening it? Or fastens the strap again after taking it off? I did that when I was a kid. Did it break during the struggle, or was it already broken? Blood. Blood everywhere. Okay, so we got all three of the clues for the watch, but we only got one of the clues over here. So we need to find the other three. There's actually four of them. Um, ah, okay, here we go. A perfectly circular dent, as if someone had tried to hammer in a gigantic bolt, around four inches in diameter. Okay, what else do we have? 
scratches. Fingernails scratch the wood. Okay, so we got three. We need one. We need one more. One more clue. And then we'll be able to move on to the next part. Now the question, the question ill, where are the clue at though? I, it's a chance I like look right at it already. Ah, here we go, blood splatter. Blood ran like water. Okay, so let's keep going. It looks like there's some more stuff in here. This was opened recently. By the way, somebody said he sound like a, a, a generic Gerald from The Witcher. That is actually the same actor. So it, it's him, so. Smells of whiskey. It's, it's authentic. I, I think it's dope when you can recognize voices from the back. Glass on the floor indicates the window was broken from outside. There's something under there. How did it wind up under there? Not one round fired. It must have happened fast. Okay, is there anything? See, there's a whole nother room. There's quite a lot of clues here. All right, let's go into the next room. Because we're going to have to put this board together after we're done finding these clues. What is it with Italians and olives? They lap those things up like caviar. I hate olives, but I, mm, they stink. Like a true bachelor, he should have put these into soak. Hours of scraping to get them clean. Although at this stage, I don't think Baccarini's too worried about that. Right. He gone. Okay, so I found, okay, here we go, here we go. Four glasses, two of water, two of wine. I've always been a whiskey man, but I know a good wine when I see one. Hell, man. What's this, cake? Leftover lasagna. Lasagna. And it looks good. Why is it that two out of three Italian gangsters are great cooks? I'll never understand what the deal is with them and cooking. The plates and the glasses leave no room for doubt. Baccarini had company for dinner. Alright. So we have this one. One knife's missing. The biggest one. Got another clue. And then what's back here? Hmm. Shut from the inside. Kick it open. Have Milford's big ass come in here and kick that goddamn door open so we can see what's back there. Use your resources, sir. Sir. All right. I don't think there's any more clues. Let's go ahead and check out the body. Try to match this stuff up on the board and see if we can figure out how he got cleaned up. Ow. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, wait, wait. what's this? It takes a strong man to tear that out. Or several. Uh, there's a whole nother room around this corner too though. Damn. Hmm. Jammed shut from the inside. Maybe between the two of us when Milton gets back. If I'm not mistaken, this door opens onto the same room as the locked door in the kitchen. Alright, cool. They try to get the L.A. Noir on for this part right here, though. God, I like it. Some kind of sticky liquid. Damn shame what happened to that company after they put L.A. Noir out. They closed, like, within a few months. Yeah, like, Rockstar published it, but they didn't make the game. It was Team Bond, actually. Oh, shit. I should have stayed in my diner. Hey, that's cold-blooded, bro. Where's the next clue at?
There's five clues over there. What is that? Hey, this this is a, some straight Illuminati confirmed shit. Oh, here we go. We gotta actually look at the. Is he is he touching those himself? He ain't even touched them. They just open it like that. Are these teeth from the body? Well, at least I know why his teeth were pulled out, more or less. Looks like a ritual. What was Baccarini mixed up in? Let's get out of this goddamn room. That's just, and I'm like, like, why this dude Elliot? He it don't even seem like he worried about it like it's a regular ass day out the office. Crazy. All right. This car looks too classy for a forger like Baccarini. Are there sufficient reasons to believe that when the murderer attacked Baccarini, there was someone else in the house? The first possibility to be ruled out is that the car belonged to Baccarini. Is there nothing in here we could actually look at? Let's take a look in the glove compartment. Bingo. What we got? A man's cigarette case. The Baccarini clan. All right, we got another clue. I, I I feel like that's the last clue. We should maybe wait for Mil what's his name, Milton or Milford? I'm on plates. Someone drove a long way. I do Milton. If his name is Milford, I'll just take the L. I think it was Milton. I wish they would have made um, a different button, the sprint button. Okay, we didn't investigate the actual body yet. Holy Christ, what the hell are we up against? They did him dirty as hell. His teeth were all pulled out before he was killed. The buildup of blood inside his mouth speaks for itself. Pity he won't last till Christmas, because he'd almost pass for a tree. There's no doubt the murderer took his time. eyes were pulled clean out of their sockets. Whoever did this, it wasn't their first time. And if they committed any other murders like this, it's likely that the police found some of the bodies. I must remember to ask Alice. Okay. This isn't a cut, it's a tear. His hands were ripped off. Who has that kind of strength? somebody's whole hand off that takes skill to be able to rip somebody's goddamn hands off I know who did it it was red herring off uh, off uh, Scooby-Doo got stuck in there looks like the bottom of a glass it's Baccarini no doubt about that although the one I remember was more together okay I think we have found all the clues now Oh shit. I gotta put this together? Car. What was in the car? The initials OB on a cigarette case. Yeah, that was in the car, and then the lights. The car with Vermont plates. One, it has Vermont plates. Two, it's too luxurious for a criminal of his standing. Three, the initials on the cigarette case don't match his name. The next possibility that needs to be ruled out is that the car was stolen. There should be evidence that there was someone else in the house. We had the, we had, I'm, I'm feeling like I'm going back into my LA Noir mode. You know what I'm saying? Um, we had, nah, no, no. Dirty plates, glasses, and silverware from a dinner for two. That was it. The dirty dishes and glasses prove that Baccarini ate lasagna with one other person. 
Was Baccarini's guest still in the house when the murderer showed up? Ah. Uh. A broken whiskey glass found in the dining room. What's this? Pieces of glass from the window in the hall. A pistol, fully. A door in the kitchen. What looks like the bottom of a broken glass buried in Baccarini's back. A broken whiskey glass found in the dining room. It seems clear that Baccarini and his guest were drinking when the murderer took them by surprise. The real question is, what happened to the witness? Did they escape? Did the murderer take them? Or are they still in the house? Mmm. Well, there were... Well, those were both of his hands. Um. A door in the corridor jammed shut. It opens onto the same room as the locked door in the kitchen. Oh, no, 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 no. Let's go back. Damn it. Can I undo what I just did? A door in the kitchen, locked from the inside. One locked door could be a coincidence, but two locked doors which open onto the same room can't be. Either I'm completely wrong, or the witness is in that room. But I need Milton to open one of those doors. That game of noodle just is out here, bruh. Game of noodle. All right, I'm trying to go up. How do we go to the next? Oh, here we go. All right, mutilation. Let's go with the assault section. Okay, the assault we had. A teaspoon stained with blood and some kind of sticky liquid. Oh, that was straight wrong, huh? A pistol, fully loaded. An open bottle of whiskey. Pieces of glass from the window in the hall found in the lamp. Torn off its. That ain't, that ain't the one. Oh, that. A sick altar of you. Wait, what? Some kind of symbol. Really? An open bottle of whiskey. I'd say Baccarini was drinking in the dining room when his assailant burst in through the window. Baccarini pulled his gun, but the murderer disarmed him before he could shoot. Where did the torture begin? Torture begin? He ripped the, the watch off. Blood stained wristwatch. Bow. Broken and the strap fastened. Two pools of blood. A broken table. Scratch. A broken table. Scratch. Got that cover. one. A teaspoon stained with blood and some kind of. Alright, that's not it. Some... Nope. The lamp. Torn off its. Is it this one? Two pools of blood. One of the blood stains show that the murderer began to torture Baccarini on the dining table itself. That was where his hands were torn off. As a result, his wristwatch fell to the ground. How did the body reach its current position? Oh, alright. The trail of blood from the dining room to the hall. Trail of blood there, and then... A teaspoon stained with blood. Shit, I don't know. Baccarini's teeth were... We, we trying to figure out how it got there. The lamp. There you go. Baccarini, already minus hands, was dragged into the hall, where the murderer used the brackets of the lamp to complete his macabre diorama. All right, so we got one more section. It's on the left, the mutilation section. All right, we, we started off strong with the car and stuff. You know, we went back down a few levels with that last section on the assault side. Hopefully, we can clean up on the mutilation side. A sick altar of human. Wait, what? Baccarini's teeth were all pulled out. Some kind of... The murderer tore Baccarini's hands off. Hands ripped off, teeth torn out. I guess I'll have to rule out criminal intent or a personal angle. Baccarini's eyes still haven't shown up. What if I look for whatever was used to remove them? Whoa, 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 whoa. go down, go down. There we go. A teaspoon stained with blood and some kind of sticky liquid. The mixture of sticky liquid and blood can only mean one thing. The spoon was used to remove Baccarini's eyes. The mutilations and the disappearance of his eyes suggest two possible motives. Psychopathy or cultist fanaticism. Which is it? This is some straight saw shit. Not even, because he would just set you up to die, pretty much. Okay, let's do this. A sick altar. A sick altar of human flesh. Some kind of symbol drawn in blood. Though I don't know the origin of the symbol in the bathroom and the altar of flesh and teeth. I'd say the motive was some kind of a cult religion. The big question is, who did it?
Mr. Ness, can you open the door for me? Yeah, he had him scared as hell. You see him? He's like, oh, Jesus. Please. It was open. Why did you ring? I thought I should use the doorbell so I wouldn't startle you. When I came in, I pressed the doorbell and it didn't work. Well, in light of the facts, I deduced that it was your finger that wasn't working. <laughs> what? So, what can you tell me to restore my faith in you as a detective? What is that? Not a good start. It's a camera, so Alphonse can see all this. All right, follow me. Baccarini had company for dinner. Someone from Vermont with the initials OB. Someone whose social status was a lot higher, but who was on the same side of the law. He served lasagna, and after clearing away the dishes, they opened a bottle of whiskey in the dining room. That was when the murderer burst in on them, coming through the window which he broke with his own body weight. Baccarini, or maybe his guest, pulled a gun, but it was a waste of time. The murderer was so fast, he was disarmed before he could fire. He focused his attention on Baccarini, totally ignoring the guest, and lifted him up into the air. He then threw him against the dining room table so hard that one of the glasses of whiskey was embedded in Baccarini's back. He span around, clawing at the table, and immediately afterwards the murderer ripped off his hands. I have no idea how he did it, but all the evidence suggests he just pulled. Blood sprayed everywhere. The wristwatch fell to the ground. He dragged him through the corridor into the hall. He tore down the lamp, hung him from the brackets, and stabbed steel rods through his body. He skewered him on the iron bars, possibly taken from the fence outside, and pulled out his teeth one by one. Finally, he scooped out his eyes with a teaspoon. Baccarini must have been dead when the murderer went to the bathroom with his hands and his teeth. There, he arranged them to make an altar, weaving the fingers together and placing the teeth inside. Next, he painted something on the wall in blood, a symbol which I don't recognize, but which could have some kind of ritualistic significance. When he'd finished his artwork, he left. I don't know what he did with the eyes. You're telling me that someone did all this on with a teaspoon? More or less. And you worked all this out on your own some, just by looking? More or less. I don't know which of the two of you scares me more. Wait a second. What about the guest? Right. Come with me. Let's see what's behind this door. They better not kill my black brother. They better, I'm telling you, they better not kill my man. They better not kill my man. Okay. Nothing. Turns out Mr. Untouchable isn't infallible. But you were close. Congratulations. This must be Baccarini's office. Let's take a quick look around. All yours. What was she reading? You're at a crime scene, and you sit down to read? Titus Andronicus. One of the actors on the Hindenburg lent it to me. They're performing it soon. You couldn't ask for more appropriate reading material. Murder, mutilation, torture. <laughs> Shakespeare's got it all. We've lost the only lead we had to help us find Sofia Capone. You think Baccarini's murder could be related? Maybe. It's hard to say. Why'd you go to jail? For murder, but... You didn't do it, of course. Of course I did it, but I didn't intend to. Okay, let's see what we can find in here. Probably coming to the end of the episode here. So? Whoa! Jesus, there's at least a million dollars here. I don't know what you're talking about. Mm -hmm. Baccarini's? I'd be surprised. Probably his guests, and I doubt it was to pay Baccarini for his services. None of his forgeries are worth that much. 
I mean, I don't see a million dollars. You know, I, that shit would be in my, my pocket. The driver's license of one John Martinson and Osmond Burke, OB. Hmm. Do we know him? The eldest son of the richest family in Vermont, convicted rapist. He was arrested thanks to the testimony of his father who wound up disinheriting him. He escaped from prison last week. He broke into the family home and slit the throats of all his relatives one by one, opened the safe and got away with a fortune. Uh, they don't make jails like they used to. That dude cool as shit, man. Alright. Carlo, I have the goods for OB, but I have to take the children to school tomorrow and I can't make the meetup. Friday, same time, same place. It's signed and I. Mm-hmm. These initials are getting to be a pain in the ass, right? I have to take the kids to school tomorrow. I don't think this is some loving divorced daddy, Milton. Ah, I take back what I just said. All starting to add up, isn't it? <laughs> Whoa! Yo! <laughs> oh my god. My slipper came off of everything. Oh my goodness. That bitch, look at... Oh my... <laughs> wow. Out of my way! They scared the hell out of me, yo. <laughs> Milton! Uh, Milton! You're doing fine on your own, Mr. Uh, I believe in you. Killed Baccarini? Now he was a monster! Well, get your hands off me, Negro! What was he like? Describe him for me. <laughs> what the fuck is this? This is hilarious. He was a monster. Red and black. I mean, his head reached the ceiling. He tore off his hands with his claws! It was a monster! A monster! Should I hit him again? Burke, shut up. You're Osmond Burke, right? Yeah, yeah, yes. Good. Now pay attention, Burke, because I have a question for you. Who is this money for? Uh, uh, Nikolai Ivankov. Rings a bell. One of Capone's right-hand men 20 years ago. What does this stuff about kids mean? I, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. <laughs> Calm down, Burke. You were going to meet up with him, right? Yes, uh, yeah, at the docks, uh, uh, birth 42, right, right next to where, um, where, where the uh, allig Alligator 3 is moored. So what's the meetup time? Uh, t tomorrow, tomorrow at, uh, uh, tomorrow, 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 tomorrow at noon, tomorrow, tomorrow. Tomorrow? No, it's going to be tonight. Uh, uh. Don't get too comfortable. We'll be there in no time. There are certain types of people I don't allow in my diner. But today, I have no choice but to make an exception. I'm afraid not, Mr. Ness. I have to take him to Alphonse. Out of the question. I know his temper. He'll beat him to a pulp. Listen, if the missing girl was your granddaughter, you wouldn't forgive me if I didn't let you see the only suspect who could lead us to her. Okay. Bloodbath would cover up the smell of stale grease. 
I was wrong. Hey, shit is real right now. They about the cliffhanger of us as a unit. So it won't be my fault. The next episode is out though, so we'll be able to do that right away. But episode three isn't, so I have to wait on that, guys. Elliot? Ah, oh, Delphine. Oh, thank God you're here. The lights were off, so I thought that... I'm sorry. I got out of the hospital late, then I went to the station to pick up Jim's check, and when they told me... I... I'm scared. Of what? What are you drinking? Bitch, I asked you a question. Like, answer my question. I'm drinking juice, though. It's only juice. Juice and nothing else. Breathe on me. <sighs> you heard me. <sighs> I'm sorry. It, it hasn't been a good day. What's happened? No! You knew! Knew about what? What's that gun doing there? I'd love to tell you, but I can't. It's better you don't get involved. You know, don't you? No, I don't know. And if you keep up the guessing games, I'll never know. He's back. Who? Him. I don't know why it still surprises me, but it's incredible that you were such a good detective, and yet you've never been able to understand people. Capone got out of jail. Where do you hear that? Chief Jenkins. Chief Jenkins? The same guy who said he was going to clean up Santa Esperanza, right? In that case, you can rest assured Capone just put on his striped pajamas and in four minutes' time, he'll be snoring in his cell. Elliot, what if it's true? If he's out, what's the first thing he's going to do? Who does he hate more than anyone? He spent almost 20 years in jail. Capone's an old man. If he gets out, at most he's going to challenge me to a race to the nearest park bench. Please, Elliot, don't joke. You're the only part of Jim's life that I have left. If you put yourself in danger, I... Please, no, but thanks. My hand? One of my customers. He's a boxer and we got to throwing some punches, for old time's sake. What's going on, Elliot? I just told you. Oh, shit. We're closed. Can you wait outside for a couple of minutes, Milton? Sure, of course. Uh, although, I'm sorry to say, but we're short on time. Elliot. Um. I said a couple of minutes, Milton. It's all right. Goodbye, Elliot. You can use that couple of minutes to teach this gentleman some manners. You wanted to call him something else, though, bitch! No, and it's none of your business. Sorry to butt in. I've brought your rapist costume for the party. What? <laughs> what? This episode Seriously, crazy, man. You're not... <sighs> no, she's the wife of a friend who died in the line of duty. Jim Dockers. Mm. Alphonse told me about him. Your Alphonse killed him. Yeah, I'm sorry, Mr. Ness. Although he's not the same man he was. Anyway, isn't a deal with marriage until death do us part? It's not that simple. There are other factors. Loyalty, friendship. Dockers was my best friend. I couldn't do that to him. Not even now he's dead. Right. So you like her, but you don't have the nerve. Oh, yeah? What would you do? Women have never been one of my priorities. I'm sorry. <laughs> Forget it. Shit. <laughs> you screwed Alphonse good, didn't you? I don't think he holds it against me this far down the line. He's a new man now, right? Did you enjoy it? I'm a cop. Correction, I was a cop. You do the job you're given. End of story. I hear you, but you didn't finish the next job they gave you. Did they find those kids? 
No. How do I look? Like the invisible man in the movie. <laughs> no one's gonna buy it. Take it easy. Everything's going to work out fine. Milton! I wonder if Milton, that, he, he don't like women? Well, I see what they did there. Sure, it's here. Relax. It's just a little further. Just follow me. All right, guys. We 41 this minutes in. We're gonna keep so playing. If this is an hour really long, bad. then guys, you're just gonna get an hour long video. I don't know what to tell you. Man. Hey. Probably, but I don't have anything better to do tonight. And the lady at the diner? I told you, Milton. I can't get involved. The question isn't whether you can. It's whether she wants you to, my friend. Milton, if you go on contradicting me, you're not going to get into your role. Don't forget, while we're here, you're supposed to be at my beck and call. While we're here. Hear that? Not bad. <laughs> A white boy who likes the blues. What's next? You gonna let the black man vote? <laughs> hey. Any faster? Guess not. Whoa, 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 Milton, move out the way, Milton. Come over here. Reposition the camera some. Look at them two over there. You better get a room or something. Hey, you. Where do you think you're going? I'm here to see your boss. So do your job. What did you just say, you freak? Well, we tried being polite. Kick him in the balls, honey. It'd be my pleasure, Ed, sweetie chops. Dakota. Yeah, my pleasure, Miss Dakota. Listen, friend, I've had to freeze my ass off on guard duty myself. Let me and my man pass, and you can carry on warming yourself up. The other option is for us to warm him up ourselves, Mr. Burke. Ah, you got one of those uppity Negroes, I see. You have no idea, my friend. Takes the patience of a saint. Yeah. <laughs> Look, pal, without an appointment, you can't come in. I have an appointment in the name of Osmond Burke. You're Burke? Why didn't you say so before? Come on in. You got one of those uppity Negroes, I see. I need my chapstick, man. I need to drink some water too, cause I, you know, I, need, I feel the dehydration. Guys, it's 9:44 a.m. We're working on videos. I'm gonna put these out later tonight. Those guys ain't important over here. Whoa, what is that thing? You really wanna know? Better off not asking. Okay, this is a trail of blood here. What is this? Oh no, it's just telling you where to go. Good, I thought they was gonna make me walk across the whole bridge. Looking for someone? We arranged to meet Nikolai Ivankov at berth 42, but it looks like the ship isn't moored here. Has she set sail? It isn't moored? 
<laughs> Maybe she sunk to the bottom of the ocean. it for this episode guys i'm gonna holla at y'all in the next one if you want to see the next one leave a like on this video subscribe to the channel if you have not already blues and bullets episode one toodles You know that we punish children who behave badly, don't you? <laughs> Yesterday, it was Juliet who behaved badly. Do you remember? Uh huh. She hit Junior so she would finish ahead of him in the morning race. Do you know what we did to her? Mm -mm. Don't worry. You'll find out soon enough. Which do you prefer? The doll? Or the plush toy. Two days ago, Mickey bit Tom so he could take his food. Do you know what we did with him? Bruno says you killed him. Bruno says many things. Which do you prefer, blonde hair or brown? And today, you tried to escape. Do you know what the difference is? No. Juliet and Mickey hurt their friends so that we would not punish them. You tried to escape, but you did not harm your friends. On the contrary, you tried to help Bruno, putting your own life in danger. Very few children would do that. We are going to punish you. <laughs> but in a different way than Juliet and Mickey. Bruno, on the other hand, did something very similar to them. He betrayed you to avoid being punished. I'm sorry. Which of these two drawings do you like best? Him. Is she here? My father asked you to take care of me. Is this how you respect a dead man's wishes? Screw everything I said. He's Al Capone. He may not have much left, but he'll have something. Life's full of little twists and turns, huh?